In this podcast, we will speak about the Moscovy of Starburst Nevi. What is a Starburst Nevus? A Starburst Nevus is a benign, flat, heavily pigmented melanocytic tumor demoscopically characterized by peripheral streaks. Histopathologically, starburst nevi correspond to pigmented spitz nevi. The management of starburst nevi is age dependent. Before using dermoscopy, the diagnosis of a pigmented spitz nevus was difficult. Today, using dermoscopy, the diagnosis of pigmented spitz nevus is straightforward. This is because of the characteristic starburst pattern. Starburst pattern means that we can see peripheral streaks as indicated by the arrows which are finger-like projections that arise usually from a heavily pigmented center. Here are some examples of starburst nevi. In all lesions we see the stereotypical appearance of a heavily pigmented center and streaks at the periphery. The main problem, however, with starburst nevi is that in rare occasions melanoma may look like a starburst nevus and vice versa. And looking at these two lesions, both are having the stereotypical starburst pattern, a heavily pigmented center and peripheral streaks. So which one is the spitz nevus? Both lesions were excised and in both lesions it turned out that they were melanomas looking like a starburst nevus. However, the probability of a lesion to be a spitz nevus and not to be a melanoma is very high in children, but drops down around puberty and the older we become. Based on this concept, the management of starburst nevi becomes age dependent. If we see an otherwise regular starburst nevus in a prepubertal child, we can easily monitor these lesions and to reassure the expected symmetric enlargement. Like in this case, the lesion grew symmetrically without any structural changes. By contrast, if we see the same lesion in an adolescent or adult patient, we never have to monitor these lesions, but we always have to excise them as the probability that this lesion could be a melanoma is increasing with age.